Today I would like to talk to you about some of the modifications I made to this train so that it can go up a 20 degree slope. Um, the reason why I picked this train is that um, it has enough space here at the bottom to put two engines in here. So that gives you double the amount of power, uh, which is great. Um, another modification that was necessary is that when these trains go over the hump, um, it is necessary for them to um, move uh, the buggy like this. And for, to achieve this, we had to raise uh, the buggy just by one plate so that there's more room for it to go up and down like this. Otherwise, uh, the train would derail. Uh, there's still uh, one battery pack inside, uh, just the one normal battery pack, um, but what you see that both motors are connected to the infrared receiver. Now, one of the trouble that you'll encounter is that if you do this, the motors will actually spin in opposite directions. Um, this is something, of course, that's extremely counterproductive. So I added um, a switch uh, in here um, um, that changes the direction of one of the motors uh, so that they both go in the same direction. Right, so that's the main engine that pulls the train. I then added um, another uh, engine to it where you just have the battery pack on top of the uh, engine so it creates a lot of friction that we need to get up on the track and I put this as the last trolley on the train so it pushes it from the back they're both on the same uh, receiver channel um, that means with uh, just turning one wheel both of the engines will react and go in the same direction the last thing to talk about is the camera the camera module you see here it's just the normal uh, normal train module and I put now the 2d camera on here um, it has a GoPro mount that um, I uh, changed so I can kind of change the angle to whatever I want it but you can also just detach this camera module and add on another camera module just like this which is a 360 camera that you've seen in my earlier video I 3D printed here a specific mount uh, that allows you to fundamentally attach any camera uh, to it since this is the standardized camera screw that is used for most cameras. So uh, the trick for this train is to find the right balance of power, weight and friction so that you can go up uh, the slope. and. Um, Modifying the boogies was necessary for it to go over the hills um, uh, up and down without it derailing and uh, The boogies of all of them actually had to be raised because otherwise the, the magnetic connect, uh, the magnetic, magnetic couplings wouldn't work uh, Another change I made to this one, which is again just a small one is that here the front bit There used to be a different front bit on it, which was very low to the rail very close to the rails and uh, if the boogie would go up, it would actually um, <clears throat> run into the rails. So I had to change it with a standard, um, I'm not sure what you call these guys. So yeah, so these are the modifications I made to this train so that it can go up all the way. Thanks for watching.